Check it out. Mrs. Brixie's getting us some VIP points right now. Scanning all those QR codes. Woo! So it's already been a Lego filled day and evening. Just finished working on the Winter Village, got the snow covered road done, and also Santa Claus's Mountain. The base structure for that bad boy and a beautiful looking road, right? After I was done building the base structure for that, I had like a table full of parts and it was like brutal because it was all the slopes and bricks and miscellaneous parts from the pre-existing cliff edge and it was right here. But look at that, all sorted, all cleaned up. Now we're ready to add details to the mountain. Whew, that looks good. So building that, tidying all that stuff up, and then producing that video involved with that pretty much took all day. And now it's the evening. We just put the kids down, and I am going to sneak off to the Lego store. Because there's actually a new promo, and it's like a little miniature version of Steamboat Willie, which you can see right up there. And it's like, really? There's a Steamboat Willie promo? I've definitely got to go to Lego store and try and get one of those. Plus today is usually the day that I end up at the Lego store because they restock the pad wall. So I'm hoping there's some good pieces on the pad wall. And the issue is, is I have no idea what I'm going to get today because I definitely don't need anything. But I'm going to go anyway. Because we need Steamboat Willie. Because we need Stone, st st stamp Steamboat Willie. It's late. It's been a day. Late night grande latte? I think so. So the uh, Starbucks is actually at a bookstore and they have this magazine rack and my eye caught this. What is this? Two Lego minifigures inside. An epic wrecking crew. Look at that guy's mustache. It's the donut disaster. $10.99. Two figures though, and a magazine. I also spotted this, Newsweek, Lego, the toy that changed our lives. Look at all the minifigures on the front cover of that one. Wonder what's inside. Oh, it's just like a whole write-up about Lego. Well, that's cool. There's also a Ninjago magazine right here. Looks like this one comes with a special tin and some minifigures. Seriously though, how legit is that promo? Not bad, look at that little Steamboat Willie right there. Comes with the Mickey Mouse minifigure. You spend 140 bucks on Disney products and you get that for free. That's $140 here in Canada. And the thing is, is $140 on Disney products includes any Disney license. So of course that includes Star Wars, Avatar, Marvel, even Indiana Jones. And I've been told, Home Alone. And then of course, anything Disney. So personally, I really wanna get that promo and so does the wife. And we don't have this Disney Duo set. So I'm gonna pick up one of those, but that's only 60 bucks. Of course, I'm gonna get more battle packs. No, I'm just kidding, I've got enough battle packs. So not only can we pick up Willy today, but we could also get the Houses of the World 4. When you spend 330 bucks, that is also a GWP. Holy cow, $330. Why are the Houses of the World GWPs so insanely like expensive when it comes to threshold? So I'm gonna get this set too because it's on sale. It's been on sale for a while, 50 bucks on for 35, which is a pretty good discount for a pretty good set with some nice Disney brick heads. We gotta check out the pad wall while we're here too, right? That's one of the reasons why I wanted to come. So I am building that winter village and I just ran out of like white brick. Well, I'm not out, but I'm out of the one by 12. So I might pick up more of those. Uh, there's some gray ones down there too, which look pretty nice. There's some three by three blue plate right there, the dark blue ones. Also some window glass. Oof, look at all that window glass, not bad. Then we've got some transparent dark blue cheese slopes right over here. One by two grill elements. I think I need more of those. I might need some more of these too. I've been using them like crazy, but I still have a, quite a bit, I think. Also, these corner plates are pretty nice. I noticed something else that looked nice. Oh yeah, these right here. There's not a whole lot left. Oh yeah, there's, there's lots left. But these are like the profile bricks. The one by two dark gray ones, those are nice. They had them in the, or on the wall here, not too long ago in white. 
but it's cool to see them in dark gray. And then there's some uh, some green plate there. Whoops. Overloading. It's jumping out at me. It definitely wants to come home with me. <laughs> We've got some arches there too. These pieces are pretty neat. Oh, look at that. Trans dark blue one by four tiles. So it looks like some of the parts that were restocked this morning definitely survived the morning rush and are still here. These are nice for creating those little uh, sapling trees that I build. Uh, using those and the reddish brown antenna. Oh, white plate. It's funny, I, I said I was out of white plate for the uh, Winter Village and I used it all when I was building those mills plates the other day. But then when I parted out all those cliff edges just earlier today, I freed up a bunch of eight by six white plate, which that is right over there, but I could get more. Uh, also got some fun, funky slides right over here. If you're looking at a slide to your ocean or something. And then of course the mixed goods right here. One time I was digging through these and I found a bunch of uh, shield tiles and I like dug through it all and extracted all the shield tiles because that is just awesome. Ooh, purple uh, or lavender masonry. I wonder if they had more masonry this morning. I bet you they did. There's these profile bricks up here, which are great for creating hay. And then we have uh, some one by one cheese slopes up here too, in green as well. So this is gonna seem completely random, but I'm gonna pick up a bunch of keychains, which retail for $8 each. I'm gonna get a Soka, a Scout Trooper, a Darth Vader, and a Mandalorian. Oof, and I gotta get Spider-Man as well, and maybe even a Carnage. Okay, I'm also gonna pick up this Indiana Jones fighter plane chase. So what's up with all these keychains, this Indiana Jones set, plus an additional huge set that I have yet to buy at the Lego store? Well, I'm gonna be giving it all away during my next Whatnot stream, which is taking place this Sunday, October 29th, starting at 12 o'clock Mountain Time, that's right. I'm gonna be giving away all of this awesome Lego product that I am buying here today in this video. In addition to that, I'll be auctioning off a bunch of cool Lego products, and included in that selection is the next Whatnot exclusive minifigure, which is known as the Monster Mashup. This minifigure is custom printed, it's got a glow-in-the-dark head, and it's limited to 100 pieces. There are 10 Whatnot sellers, each of us get 10 of them, and we are auctioning them off this weekend. I put all the information in the pinned comment below. In addition to that, if you're not a member of Whatnot and you want to join, you can sign up using my link. And when you do that, you get a $15 credit, which can be applied to your first purchase. I hope to see you there. This minifig is actually so rad. It comes in like the exclusive Whatnot packaging, which looks pretty grim. Uh, the minifigure itself, really neat. You've got that mummy torso with the arm print detailing and then you've got like the wolfman legs and there's actually side of light print detailing and then the head is double sided on one side you've got a ghost and the other side is just like really grim there's like an eyeball hanging there it's all stitched up and the really cool thing about the head is that it glows in the dark and then they've got to mash it up even more with the grim reaper hook and also the witch's hat so yeah pretty neat minifigure Oh, and also the advent calendars are 10% off right now. Plus, this would be included in the GWP. That's not bad. Plus, you get your 5% in uh, VIP points, essentially, right? So that's not too bad. That includes Star Wars and also Marvel. So as you can see, we've got some good figures and stuff for that auction. And also some good giveaways so far. I'm still browsing around the store here, and I'm thinking of doing something crazy in regards to giveaways for you. <laughs> I don't know, no, I've, I've been wandering around. I'm like, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? I just truly don't know at this point. So I'm thinking about getting the Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark Temple of the Golden Idol. And I'm thinking about giving it away. This is a $200 set. So I don't know like, if I should be doing this today or not. I already have like enough Disney stuff to get the Steamboat Willie GWP, this and then plus all those keychains gets me there. This would technically get me another one if I were to buy it a different day or order it online, but I don't have time to order it online to do it as a giveaway for that stream. And now I've like sold myself. I'm like, this is the one. This is such a cool item to give away to somebody, I think. So everybody, I think I have a problem. I can't say no to GWPs, and I got the Houses of the World 4 GWP. So, 
ended up spending $335. But pretty much everything here was for that giveaway and the wife is gonna be super happy because holding it upside down again. But we got the uh, mini Steamboat Willie. Can you hear the Lamborghini in the background? So you know you're at the West Summit Mall Lego store. So I actually put one set back. And that was the Disney Duos. I don't think the wife's gonna be too happy that I decided to put that one back, but I already exceeded like the Steamboat Willie promo threshold. So I was like, yeah, you know what? We could just order it online, you know? Like we could order it online and get another Steamboat Willie or come back another day and maybe get another Steamboat Willie. This is pretty cool, but every time I look at it, I'm like, it's like small, uncohesive, display stuff that would look cute on the shelf but my my little display shelf is always like it's just jammed right now and every time i look at it i like have it in my hand i'm gonna buy it just like today and i'm like uh, i end up like putting it back and getting something else in this case i got an indiana jones set so yeah that sort of worked out i guess hey check it out i'm back in the lego store i had to get a little uh picture with the friends ladies here <laughs> Hey, you know what? Uh, it's nice coming here at night. Like I got here at, it's now 8.30, right? So I got here in the evening and it's not busy, right? Usually I come in the morning, it's pretty busy in here, but it's nice. Just hanging around the Lego store. All right, so I'm back from the Lego store. I'm pretty excited about our purchases here. This is not too bad at all, hey? I think the wife is gonna be extremely happy. I, I, I really don't think that I should crack this open and build it right now. I don't think she'd be too happy with me, but I'm for sure gonna bring it upstairs, put it on the kitchen table and be like, here you go, Jose. We have the mini Steamboat Willie. You can build that whenever you want. Just sometimes she enjoys doing that, right? Building some Lego. She doesn't get to do it as much as me anymore. So yeah, then we've got this one here. I'm just gonna put this away. I just think that it's, uh, it's a good set for 35 bucks i've seen this like 20 30 times not 20 or 30 times but i've seen this many times at the lego store on sale for that price i think that's really good and then uh, the houses of the world promo i do have the other houses of the world uh, gwps where are they yeah they're right up here so one two three i may as well build number four and then i have the full collection so that's good that I got that one there by $330. That's insane. Oh, the Lego store twisted my rubber arm and they're like, yeah, you gotta get this one here and give it away during that whatnot stream. So uh, the whatnot stream uh, has how many giveaways? We got two, four, five keychains. I put Carnage back, uh, but then we got the fighter plane chase and also the Temple of the Golden Idol. So I plan on giving this all away during that stream on October 29th. So it's a pretty big one, you know, <laughs> it's a pretty big amount of giveaways. I'm pretty excited about it, but I wanted to make this one special because we have those exclusive Monster Mash minifigures. So yeah, hopefully you can come on by the stream. I've got some other stuff that I'll be auctioning off as well. Just like some figures and some little sets and then we'll give all that stuff away. And I'm still waiting for those uh, Monster Mash minifigures to arrive at this point. I was just doing my final watch through, about to render this video and guess what? The box arrived. Oof. Oh, they look so much cleaner, like on hand. The photos that I had there did not look like that good they're sort of washed out but look at that the print detailing is fresh i like the package too yeah they just arrived pretty neat limited to 100 actually pretty cool because uh the first one was mr bones and it revolved around halloween as, as well right so now one year later we're getting uh, another exclusive figure which is custom produced by whatnot uh, to sell on my uh, platform, which is pretty neat. So yeah, I hope to see you there at that stream and I hope you enjoyed my little shopping vlog as we went to the Lego store, picked up some goodies for uh, the giveaway and also a little set for the display there. I wanna compare that with the other Steamboat Willie set. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff and have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell.